it is time to have fun learning. And today, I have an amazing lesson about a part of the human body that helps us all think with fun facts about the human brain. When talking about the power of the human brain, it is our command center to something called our central nervous system. Do you know what a central nervous system is? That is okay if you don't, because I can let you know. The central nervous system is made up of the brain, the spinal cord, and the optic nerves. The central nervous system controls how we think, how we move our bodies, and control our senses like feeling, smelling, seeing, hearing, and more. Have you ever thought how much the brain weighs? The human brain weighs on average approximately 3.3 pounds. The human brain is the largest brain of all vertebrae when looking at body size. Now, let's take a look at the different parts of the human brain. The largest part of the human brain is the cerebrum. With the cerebrum, it is divided into two hemispheres. What is interesting is the left cerebrum controls the right side of your body and is responsible for a lot of things you do in school, like writing, math, logical thinking, and more. Now, the right cerebrum controls the left side of the body and is more artistic and creative. It plays a big part in art and music awareness and all around creativity. When looking underneath the cerebrum, there is another part of the brain called the brain stem. Now, just because it is a smaller part of the brain, it can definitely do big things and is very important. The brainstem is where the connections for the body's movement and senses send messages throughout the rest of the body. For example, the brainstem controls things that we really need, like the ability to breathe, our heartbeat, or another interesting thing is how we sweat. Right behind the brainstem is the cerebellum. Although the cerebellum does not start body movement, it helps to make it work smoothly and more effective. The cerebellum helps with posture, balance, speech, smooth muscular activity, and more. The outermost layer of the cerebrum is the cerebral cortex, which consists of four lobes. When you look at the cerebral cortex, like you're seeing here on the screen, I want to start from the front of the brain to the back of the brain. So with the frontal lobe, the frontal lobe is very important. That is because it controls a lot of our movement in our body and also a lot of our thinking that goes on as well. Then there is the parietal lobe and this part of the body deals with senses and things that you touch and feel all over your body. So if we were playing a video game, our frontal lobe would help us to reach for the video game controller, but our parietal lobe would help us to feel the controller vibrating. There is our occipital lobe, which helps us with vision and seeing things. So even though our eyes see things, our occipital lobe helps to process what we see. And then there's the last lobe of the brain, which is the temporal lobe. This is the part of your brain that is responsible for audio processing. So things you hear like music, or if we were still talking about the video game, all of the cool sound effects coming from the video game go into your ears and is processed by this portion of your brain. Well, that is all for me, but I hope you enjoyed listening about fun facts about the human brain and how important it is to our day-to-day -day activities. That's all for me, and I'll see you next time on Welcome to Fresburg.